All right, so if you are thinking about living in St. Mary's County and you're wondering about where to live, today I'm going to be talking about Leonardtown, Maryland. It's arguably one of the premier places to live in St. Mary's County, mainly because there's a lot of things going on. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about everything that you might want to know about living in Leonardtown within reasonable time constraints. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Jonathan Powell. I'm a real estate agent in the area. I have an Instagram channel called The County Connoisseur, in which I interview local business owners and also give weekly updates about the fun things that are happening here in St. Mary's County. And so I actually personally live in, in Leonardtown. So I'm going to just dive right on it. So the first thing to think about is the fact that Leonardtown is about, I'd say, 20 minutes from the base. So if you're stationed to work on the base or you're in some way supporting the base, you're about a 20 minute drive. Some of the things to also consider is that in Leonardtown, we've got some grocery stores. We've got Food Line right here. We've also got Bradford's, which is right here. This is a great little place to go to. And if you're interested in more organic and and healthy eating, there is also Good Earth Natural Foods Company, which is a nice organic market. And you're not too far from Harris Cedar, which truth of the matter is that it is the nicest grocery store in the area. So that's some food. I don't know why I started there. I guess that's where my head goes. But when I think about Leonardtown, generally speaking, I think of a really nice area. It's pretty safe. If you look at the most dangerous places in St. Mary's County, <laughs> apparently it's not as safe as some of the surrounding areas, but maybe that's just because of the way that they're calculating the, uh, the crime. I'm not sure. But according to crime grade, it's got a B plus. So it's lower than average U.S. city. It's in the 71st percentile for safety, meaning 29% of cities are safer and 71% of cities are more dangerous. Crime rate in Leonardtown is 16.9 per 1,000 residents during the standard year. It is what it is, according to crimegrade.com. But I can tell you this, the state police department is right here in Leonardtown. St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office is right there, as well as the Maryland state police barracks so that's gonna make things fairly safe i never feel too bad about going through leonard town especially in the evening I do it all the time with my wife and family. The hospital is in Leonardtown, so that's something to consider. If you want to be close to the hospital, Leonardtown is definitely the place to be. What else? We got school district quality, so let's check out the niche page. So according to niche.com, you've got top public school serving Leonardtown, Leonardtown High School A-, Leonardtown Elementary School A-, Leonardtown Middle School A-, Benjamin Banneker B+, A- for the Chesapeake Charter School as well. Some of the other things to note about Leonardtown is that you've also got got St. Mary's Riken, which is the largest private school in St. Mary's County. They recently got a really awesome field. A lot of people have uh, graduated from Leonardtown from St. Mary's Riken. They've got a sailing club. They got this brand new athletic building. Haven't been inside, but it's pretty impressive. It's a pretty impressive campus. They've got lots and lots of different clubs, soccer, lacrosse, football. It's very competitive. They're in a very competitive athletic division with the WCAC, but that's a big one. As far as other private schools go, you've also got Father Andrew White, which is right here. That's very nice private elementary school, Catholic school. We've got Leonard Hall Naval Academy. That's been around for a long time. You've also got Little Seedlings Christian. I suppose that's a day care. Also close to Leonardtown is St. John's School. So that's another place that uh, a lot of people like to go to. Technically, of course, that's Hollywood. There's also Benjamin Banneker and then Captain Walter Francis Duke. That's right by Leonard's Grant, which is a pretty nice neighborhood. There's Leonardtown High School right here. Dinard Elementary School, kind of further out there. I think generally speaking, most people would perceive the Leonardtown schools as being very good, very safe. I went there, no complaints. Next, when you look at housing prices, I feel like this heat map is very helpful. Leonardtown is probably one of the pricier places to go to, to be living in. As you can see here, the green is a little bit higher values. The red is the lower values. Yellow is kind of mid. In case anyone's curious, I live right here. Honestly, these are wonderful places to live. We've got Breton Bay, you know, right here. A lot of great homes in this area. It's the Leonardtown Wharf here in Leonardtown. Leonardtown Square is really a big draw to Leonardtown, I would say, as well as all these really nice, fun inlets to go sail, you know, take your boat out all that kind of stuff great place colton's point this is a lot of a lot of fun uh inlets and whatnot marked by downtown Leonardtown. that's kind of the place to be let me throw my little guy right here 
So this is a large town square. This is kind of the place to be. You've got Old Town Pub, great place to get some wings. You've got Heritage Chocolates right there. Really incredible hot chocolate being served there. A lot of other chocolates. You've got Front Porch, really incredible food there. I can definitely attest to the Old Fashioned, smoked Old Fashioned. Very nice, definitely something to get. You've got the Craft Guild right over there and also soon to be Everyday Saint Brewery, which I'm really excited about. We've got uh, Slice House, that's there now. Really great pizza place, probably the best pizza place in the area you know you got all your chains like papa john's and Domino's and all that kind of stuff but can't beat the uh local custom stuff so spice then we got escape room we've got needed baking company and the salted scoop which is an ice cream shop needed baking is definitely the premier bake shop in the area the owner interviewed her not too long ago kelly she is really dynamic and just puts a whole lot into those pastries i mean you feel like you're in france when you're eating them heavenly presence that's a catholic uh, like bookstore, gift store, that kind of thing. You get the Rex. It's just a more fun kind of place to be. You got the Rex restaurant and bar. They've actually got this nice built out patio now. And the Rex Theater is really, really cool. They've got comedy there. They do karaoke there. They have boxing matches, live boxing in the theater. The Rex is doing a lot of really interesting things. It's always a good time to go there. There's also Southern Maryland sports cards and memorabilia that have set up shop here as well. So you can get get uh, sports cards and things of that nature. I interviewed him as well. This is the Old Town Cafe. You can get some scrapple and eggs and all your sausage and gravy and all the typical feel good to eat. This is no longer Wine Gardener Auto Sales. This is now Flower Bakery. And then we also have Maria Nash, which is an eclectic gift store. And we've got some other stuff going on down this way. We've got the Town Hall right there. One of the one of the big draws to Liner Town is going to be the Liner Town Wharf. We've got some businesses on either side, right here and right here. We've got Life Foot Massage, Serenity Place, some life coaching, a couple other things. I think this is uh, Fen's Studio, which is now a holistic spa. I'm actually happy to see that they've got, let's see, Bailey's, Bailey's Party, rentals and whatnot there, there, probably doing a wedding or something like that. And then we've got probably some kayaks and whatnot from PAX Outdoor Adventures, I think is what they're called. You can rent paddle boards and uh, take them off the wharf in the summertime. It's really nice to get some ice cream from over here. Just a really nice place to hang out. There's a playground over here as well. Me and my kids, we go there pretty often. A little historical tidbit is uh, we've got the old jail next to the courthouse. So that's kind of a neat feature. So now we've got Sweet Bay, which is a great restaurant. Antoinette's Garden, it's a great place to get wine. Just kind of chill for a while. This is now the Social, which is going to be great coffee shop that used to be way over there. And uh, they've expanded a lot. That's the place where you want to get, I'd say, the best coffee. But to be honest, Needed Baking has come out with some really good coffee. But this is what they do. Social is mainly coffee. And drinks. You know, you can go out there, get some drinks. There's, they've got trivia night there sometimes and some other events. There's lots of cool things that are here in Leonardtown, but uh, that should just give you a quick feel for some of the things that you could expect. So Leonardtown has major plans to develop. They've been designated at like a main street town, and that's going to basically lead to a lot of development. So Tudor Hall has not been developed. This has been Tudor Hall Farms, but the plan is to expand the wharf this way. There's going to be trails and there's going to be an outdoor amphitheater over here and there's going to be a park and there's going to be some more multifamily housing that's going to be really nice luxury apartments maybe some single family homes as well but this is really going to build out the Leonardtown downtown area and so while prices have been low here they're going to continue to to go up oh also I don't want to miss the Shepherd's Oldfield Market so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop my little guy down here this is a really fun place to go hang out and shop they've got lots Lots and lots of little shops within the store. You can get a bite to eat. You can get a beer, the brewer garden. You can go to all these different shops and pick things out. And then you have basically one central location where you can check out. If you're interested in buying some of the crafts that the local folks are making, this is really the place to go to go get them. So a lot of different things that you can find here. You got a birthday coming up. This is the place to go. Clark's Rest, The Meadows at Town Run, Brett and Knowles. These are future developments of housing in the area. So we've already had some 
fairly new homes be put in right over here at Clark's Rest. So all these homes are fairly new and more homes can be found here at Leonard's Grant and there's going to be more homes that are going to be put in somewhere around here as well. So um, this is a great neighborhood. So there's some different options as far as housing goes. There's lots of homes back here in the Bretton Bear area. You got St. Clement Shores. It's much more affordable but nice little community and lots of just random homes you know all throughout the uh, area continuing on you've got the new town next state park i did a little video of this really incredible place to hang out you would think that more people would know about it but they don't there's all these little beaches these coves here which are great to just hang out and chill there's some trails as well right here that you can go a walk your dog on or whatever there's some parking right there that you can go to and even more coves here there's a kayak launch right here uh you've also got the as i said latch um, wharf you got the white community playground but show you where it is it's this one right here real nice tall slide right there one of the cool things about this playground is that i think it's the only playground that is actually fenced in so any of the parents you know if you do have one entry entrance and exit to cover that's better in terms of you being able to relax there there's also soccer fields right here that's where a lot of the kids practice soccer uh, we've got a baseball field here too there's a roller rink and they do indoor soccer and there's also hockey i believe and maybe some other sports okay so let me talk a little bit more about macintosh park and then also the port of leonardtown winery so port of leonardtown winery i interviewed the winemaker here this is so much fun everyone likes to do a little mini golf or a little golfing putt-putting they've got you know clearly cornhole out here people just sit on these tables you know they got these big fans got a little bit of grapes being grown right there they do store and make the wine right here at the winery yep there's lots of live music that's a good shot of the back where uh, all the wine is being made at any rate they have live music here think every weekend in the summer maybe there's a weekend there's that there's not but for the most part if you come here on the weekend you're gonna see a lot of people you're gonna have a great time and probably gonna be hearing some music so what's kind of neat is that they have this macintosh run which is like a creek and you have macintosh macintosh park so really a cool place to bring your dogs kind of hang out bring your kids let them run but macintosh run is this creek that just goes all the way through here if you've got a kayak it's a really really nice run Run, and you get spit out right here at the Lantern Wharf. So getting some slushies from the poor Lantern Town is uh, is great, and then, and then just kind of taking the run down to its uh, final destination, which would be the wharf. Also, just a shout out to Noli's. I love this pizza place, or not? Sorry, just a pizza place. It's an Italian restaurant, and it is really, really, really good. So if you want some good pizza and just great pasta, they've got some great chicken parm and all the rest. Uh, really friendly staff. Lastly, we've got St. Clement's Shores Park. That's another playground. Pull that up. So this is a little known place in Lairtown. They've got a playground right here, some baseball fields. Again, I take my kids there a lot. A lot of people don't know about that. Another great, you know, well-kept secret is the Back Road Inn. That's a great place to go to for some, some local fun. Uh, a lot of good games are happening right here. Salsa's Mexican Cafe. This is a place where a lot of people like to go. And then also there's Actions. Where where is Action's Lounge and Bar? So this is the spot to go to for billiards, cornhole. They've got some hours for kids that are under 21, but uh, if you're over 21, this is a really fun place to hang out and uh, really good vibes. You just can't go wrong hanging out in action on the weekends. Leonardtown, as far as it goes, is the cultural center for St. Mary's County. It doesn't necessarily have all of the commerce that you're going to have in California. And so far as there not being a Walmart or a Target or a Lowe's or a Dick's Sporting Goods or, you know, Harris Teeter, things like that. But I would say it's the cultural center. It's the entertainment center. There's a lot of restaurants here. This is a place to go when you want to have a good time in St. Mary's County. So if you want to learn more about the neighborhoods in St. Mary's County or the houses, I'd say just reach out to me because really there's a lot of different options and it really is going to be based on what you want in particular. That's going to determine where you wind up living. So final thoughts on Leonardtown versus any other place in St. Mary's. This is where I personally live, so it's got my stamp of endorsement. It is a little bit more pricey than the rest of St. Mary's County, especially if you're going to be close to the water, but I think an investment well worth it. So 
if you found this helpful and again you're thinking about moving to St. Mary's County and you want some help with getting to know the area, getting to know the people, getting connected, I would be happy to help you out in just knowing the area, getting to know the people, as well as finding a home. So go ahead and send me a text, send me a DM, send me an email, I have my contact information on the next slide. Take care. I'll see you out there.